When we talk about the GTA 6 pricing, it seems that GTA 6 might be the most expensive GTA game of all time, because of its insane gameplay and everything. Some sources even suggest that the game could cost more than what we might expect. To give you some context, let's take a look at the prices of previous GTA games at their time of release. From this, we can see that Rockstar Games tends to stick with a specific price for a few years before raising it. Considering the market crash of 2008 and the recent COVID-19 years, it wouldn't be surprising if GTA 6 is priced at $70. Furthermore, Take-Two Interactive, the parent company of Rockstar Games seems comfortable with pricing their top-of-the-line games at a $70 price mark. Inflation and Economic Factors Inflation is the rate at which the general level of prices for goods and services is rising, and subsequently purchasing power is falling. Central banks attempt to limit inflation and avoid deflation in order to keep the economy running smoothly. Consider this, if a game was priced at $50 in 2000, due to inflation, that price could be around $75 in today's money. Therefore, the price of games can increase over time even if the real price remains the same. Development costs. This includes all the costs associated with creating the game. From the initial concept to the final product, costs include salaries for designers, artists, programmers, and other staff, as well as the cost of software, hardware, testing, and quality assurance. As games become more complex, these costs increase, which can lead to higher prices for the final product. Marketing and distribution. Once a game is developed, it needs to be sold and distributed. This can include physical distribution, like producing and shipping physical copies of the game, and digital distribution, like server costs for digital downloads. Marketing costs can include advertising, promotional events, and anything else done to promote the game. These costs are often passed on to the consumer in the form of higher game prices. Game type and complexity. More complex games often cost more. This can be due to higher development costs, as mentioned above, but also because they offer a more extensive and often more immersive experience. Games with high-quality graphics, deep storylines, and sophisticated gameplay mechanics often command higher prices. Demand and competition. The price of a game can be influenced by how much demand there is for it and what other similar games are on the market. If a game is highly anticipated, the developers may choose to set a higher price. Similarly, if there are many similar games on the market, a game may be priced lower to encourage sales. Technological innovations. New technologies can add to the cost of a game. For example, if a game is developed to be compatible with new hardware or incorporates new technology like virtual reality, these development costs can lead to a higher price for the game. Post-launch support. Some games offer extensive support after the game is launched. This can include things like new content updates, patches to fix bugs, and customer support. These ongoing costs can be covered by the initial price of the game, or through other means like subscriptions or in-game purchases. Monetization model. The way a game is monetized can affect its price. Some games are sold for a one-time fee, while others may be free to play but include in-game purchases or a subscription fee. The right monetization model depends on the game and its audience. Another factor to consider is the overall trend in video game pricing. Over the past few years, we've seen a trend towards higher prices for AAA games. This trend is driven by a number of factors, including increased development costs, inflation, and the desire to deliver high-quality, immersive experiences to players. So while we don't have a confirmed price for GTA 6 yet, it's safe to say that we should be prepared for a price tag that's higher than previous GTA games. But considering the massive success of GTA 5 and the anticipation for GTA 6, it seems like fans are more than ready to play this game, regardless of the price. What do you think will it be the most expensive video game? Probably not, but these assumptions were worth the attention. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you later.